so you're welcome back thanks for clicking so why do jews pray like muslims on yom kippur the jews actually pray like muslims during this particular celebration mm. wow so this rabbi is going to answer this question so let's check it out Hi, rabbi just another question um, yes in regards to the religious movements that we do um, on Yom Kippur, we go on our knees and we put our head down and sort of bow down. Why is that still allowed? Our, feather, our, our uh, fellow brothers and sisters are doing that when they pray five times a day. So it's like... Well, there's certain things that uh, we're not going to stop doing because the non-Jews do. It depends how uh, important it is. Putting your hands up is not a considered... A, it's not a law. It's not a thing that was... Uh, uh, that widespread and that important for us to do. But bowing down in front of Hashem, that is something very, very important and uh, was done much more in the Holy Temple than, than it is today. So once a year we do the Am Kippur, when Rosh Hashanah do it once, and we're four times Am Kippur because that's showing that we're uh, totally uh, subordinate ourselves, got down to God. Our whole body was bowed down to Him all the way down on our on our, on our knees and hands and knees to show to Hashem we are subordinate ourselves and we are uh, machnia and uh, showing our uh, humility to God. So that's something very important for us to do. But one thing we have to keep in mind that in the time of the others of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they used to bow down on the stone that resented whatever it was. And that we stopped doing because the uh, idol worshippers started bowing down on stones, and therefore we stopped doing it, bowing on stones. Therefore, today in Shul on Yom Kippur, if you notice people spread out on the, on the floor, paper towels or a towel, whatever it is, people think not to get their clothes dirty. Well, that could be a reason, but there's much more reason than that because a lot of the floor is made out of stone, and we don't want to bow down on stone because that's why they started bowing down on stone. So we put something on the ground that shouldn't be on the stone that we're bowing down on. But we're not going to stop doing the keeping Shabbos because uh, the non-Jews keep the Shabbos one day of rest. We're not going to stop doing the laws because uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, Muslims uh, don't eat certain, uh, don't eat pork. So we're going to start eating pork. I mean, it depends on what type of thing we're talking about. If we say a law that Jews have to, have to keep, we're not going to stop doing laws because they do it also. So they copy us many things uh, uh, that they, uh, communion, they have matzah, they have communion, they have matzah that they have that they eat. That's was the Last Supper, that they, that they God had the Last Supper was the Seder. So they took that matzah and they became the whole thing out of it. Palm Sunday, Palm Sunday, instead of having it in Sukkot time, they have a Pesach time, but Palm Sunday taken from the Lulav, the palms, they, all these things are taken from the Torah. Uh, the baptizing, thing from the mikvah, they, they, they say, it's all taken from the Jewish laws. So we're not going to stop doing those because they do it. But certain things that are not laws to do, so we don't want to copy them. So we do it on their own. But certain things we're not going to stop because they do. Perhaps another reason is because when they're bowing down on the carpet, they're bowing down to the same God that we're bowing down to. But those who are praying with their hands out like this are praying to, uh, to a son, to somebody else in between. Could be. I don't know if the the uh, Muslims have them with their hands up either. When they they bow down when they pray, could be that they're praying. Um, Last question, online question. You hear what he's saying because they, they, that that's Sorry. by the uh, certain religion they're doing that. So that's a, a religious thing to a different uh, uh, to a different to a different god. Could be bowing down by the Muslims and said it's the same god, the one god. Yeah. Wait, the last part, did they say bound down? I they are worshiping the same God, or like, well, in other words, it's trying to say that it's a norm for you to bow down to do your yom kimpo. Yes, you know, that's a way to pray to God. So it's just similar to how Muslim pray. So it's just a code. I would say coincidence. It's just similar to it. So the man didn't really say much. He was just you know, trying to tell us that because Muslims pray like that doesn't mean we are copying them or doesn't mean we have to stop praying the way we pray. 
our religion is different and he was mentioning some seasons, some celebrations they do and they are so straight to it. I didn't know that, you know, Jewish religion is totally different. They also have their own celebration. I'm just saying that for the first time, I'm just coming across it for the first time, guys. And the guy that asked the question was like, maybe because we are serving the same God, that's why Muslim bow down and we too bow down. And the last part, I didn't really get whether it meant by we are serving the same God or they have their God, God, we have their God. Like, I don't know whether he was just being careful of his explanation. I noticed, like, it sounds as if he was being careful with his explanation because I was expecting him to go deeper, but that was cool. Maybe because I'm so new to most of his explanation, so that's why it sounds so, you know, strange to me. But that was beautiful to watch. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more like, share, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.